you go. Perfect. Now that's applied. Let me just apply it properly now throughout the entire sections. Easy. Okay. I don't need to show you this bit. Oh crap onto the top. Okay people. They basically are with your very simple box shape. That is obviously going to be the shape of it. Now we've got to put the bottom section on before we do the door. So what I do for this, I turn this round, make sure flush in the corner, get a piece of the trick. Obviously remove both sides of the film of the protective layer. Yeah, a bit tricky, but okay. There you go. Got it. Place it base like so. Tuck it behind nice and neat, like that. Just make sure it's flush. All pressed up into the corner. This is a tricky bit because you have to go inside the tank and dab lightly with a brush. Make sure, press the corner, make sure it's applying the solvent correctly. Because I'm working blind here because I can't, can't really see. Oh, I think that's coming along nicely. Just hold it to make sure. And then we can turn around and apply the rest of the solvent properly. Okay, I think that should do it. And it has. Excellent. And now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so press like so. And a little bit on the outside. Like so. Pass on the side. Hold in place. This this will be fine. I mean going quite well. It's very important to keep going over and over and over because obviously you don't want an OBT or Pocalotheria be able to push his way out and end up sat in your pillow in the middle of the night. So always better to be safe and bit. Right. Okay. When you add a little pressure by the way it's better for the solvent because it presses the two pieces of acrylic together and it moulds them better and gives it a tighter fit and makes it a bit more snug so plus this is five millimeter thick acrylic so you're not going to break it, I mean it's solid what people don't realise is though this acrylic actually costs more than glass that's why acrylic tanks are quite expensive. If I was to build an acrylic tank 12 by 12 by 18, like an EXO, it cost more than an EXO. 
but uh, I mean, a lot of my spiders have a calaria. In my arboreals, they don't need a 12 by 12 by 18. I mean, these are just 8 by 8 by 16, and they're perfect. But my Avic SP has been in a slightly smaller one than this, and loves it because it's acrylic as well. It's very warm, and these hold moisture very well, and um, you don't get a lot of condensation and mold. They just kind of yeah. Perfect, look at that. Excellent. Okay, right. Now, applying the door. Move. Both layers of protective film. Ta da! Place which way you're going to put the door. So that. Gonna sit snugly like so. Now here are the elements needed for this. These are basically small clear acrylic hinges which we are going to place like so. Make sure before you apply that it runs flush on both angles. The last thing you want to do is glue it so it's snug in the one corner and does not quite grip on the other corner so you just have to make sure your door's in place running flush along the side these are placed properly on the edges an equal distance and this I require my little measuring tool this is a piece of plastic I use by the way I use this as my measurement which I place to the end of the door and that's my measurement to note. By the way, I, I build a lot of these, so I make sure they're all exactly the same uniform style. So that's perfect. Tools flush, that's absolutely bang on. Now, same, give it a doll, and you'll see the acrylic. Like so. Give the other side also just to keep it in place before I glue it properly. There you go. Brilliant. Okay, I don't know if you can see that from there. Just make sure all the glue. Great. Run around the edges. Be generous. Let let plenty of it seep under. Uh, make sure you don't glue glue your door. 